Hi dolls, welcome back. So I just want to start by apologising. The video is a bit late, but this is going to be my February favourite, so I'm just going to get right into it. So the first item that I would like to talk about is a foundation, and one that is a really affordable foundation, one that I've been using every day, and also one that I just newly discovered, but I've just been loving it. And it is the Maybelline New York Dream Flawless Nude Fluid Foundation in the shade 48 Sun Beige. And that is what the bottle looks like. Ladies, this foundation is fantastic. It's really lightweight. It's It gives you a medium to full coverage, I would say. Down, I would say about this is, this is the um, darkest shade that they have got. So for you girls, NC42 and onwards, unfortunately, this is the darkest shade that they had, which is a nuisance. But um, yeah, I would just wish they made more shades for a wider spectrum. Moving on to eyeshadows, there has just been one ride or die palette this month, and this is the Lorac Pro One palette. This palette, out of all my collections, if they all got destroyed or if they all just disappeared, this one I would be so so upset about. This palette is absolutely fantastic, it has all the colours needed. You can seriously create so so many different looks with it, and I can't recommend this enough. The transition colours. Taupe, Sable, and Espresso, they are fantastic. And as you can see, the wear out of it. Oh, I just love the palette so much and recommend this a lot. Mascara, I've just been going through rotation and I came across this one, I would say, a couple of days into February. And this is the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Extra Back Mascara. Comparing to my Dior Addict It Lash Mascara, so bonus if it's at that price so loving that and the um, wand is really nice and bushy and really gets into all the little hairs so that is the volume million lash then moving on to concealers I have two here my right or die NARS creamy concealer in biscuit fantastic it really does you literally do not need as much highlighter as you would put on or I put on this does all the work for you it really does bring that natural hot light hitting radiance to your face and also a new product which is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Coverage Concealer in Dark Neutral this again has been fantastic product again and it really is comparing to the other concealers I've got in line as well which are my favorite so I'm really happy about that so love these two. Moving on to face. So um, I'm really getting into cream products thanks to this product here. It is the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit in the shade Medium. It is absolutely fantastic. I've never seen my makeup go on so quickly. It just in the morning I sculpt my face out, I highlight my face, put the foundation in the areas, buff it in, and it is done. It is no extra work at all. And ladies, this salmon corrector you'll see here which is called warm coral is fantastic as a cream blush and I've really been digging into that a lot and I really am going to hit pan on these soon so I cannot wait till they start selling the pan separately but it is fantastic um cream products never worked for me never ever worked for me I used to swatch them in store pick them up and buy them bring them home and just throw them in the bin because they just did not work I didn't know how to use them or they didn't sink to the skin properly they were really patchy and blotchy so this one I thought I'm going to give it a go because Anastasia products I haven't had nothing like against them or have I had a bad product I thought I'm gonna give this a shot and see how I get on and I'm so happy I did because I love it so much and it is one that I would recommend to all and um, yeah it's really not made contouring as enjoyable and it really has made contouring really enjoyable and to follow on that is my Anastasia contour kit which is the powder version and come on ladies everyone raves about it everyone talks about it, it is fantastic in particular this beautiful banana shade is my holy grail moving on to eyebrows I've really been digging eyebrows these days I don't know what it is it's just I'm getting more into products and doing different styles and sculpting and all this stuff so these three eyebrows are literally coming my ride or die now I love them so first I will start off with the Anastasia dip brow pomade in dark brown 
and then I will go ahead and use the Benefit Gimme Brow in medium deep and then I will go ahead and use this fantastic product which I've got under my eyebrows today so underneath the eyebrows and it is the highbrow glow it is really really pretty I'll show you a swatch of it Okay, so I've just swatched it in the back of my hand and it is extremely glowy. To set my whole face on my under eyes in particular, this is one product that whatever happens, I get so many products, I always come back to this. And um, it is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Dark. I don't know what it is, it just transforms your face when a foundation is not looking what it's supposed to be looking or sinking into the skin or I do not know what it is. This always rescues my day and always helps me um, make my face and foundation look like I want it to so yeah this is my third one I think now and um, I cannot just get enough of it and you can see I am already started dipping into them already I've got two blushes right here the first one is from Makeup Geek in the shade Love Affair that's a beautiful colour There we have the swatch. These are really super creamy and easy to blend. Then we have a blush by Burberry in the shade 01 Hydra Pink. And this is literally one pigmented ass blush. Is you just literally dip your finger into there and you get so much blush on your finger. It is madness. And then my favourite thing, which is highlighter. Um, we were gravitating towards the Shimmer Brick by Bobbi Brown. And this is in Copper Diamond. I believe this is still available on the Bobbi Brown website. And this is part of their Christmas collection. And this is such a dreamy <laughs> highlighter. I love it. Remember, ladies, the third colour is your dupe of Whisper of Kilt. But I always use these all mixed together and I get such a beautiful glow. Makeup products are lippies, so there's only been two in particular. The first one is, this ladies I just want to mention is a really pricey lipstick, but it lasts for ages. So I've got about three or four Burberry lipsticks now, so I'm starting to get into them. And you just think to yourself, God, you're paying X amount for a lipstick and it's quite a lot of money, but they do last on your lips for ages. And this is a beautiful colour which is called Redwood and it's a number 308 lip velvet and it is such a beautiful colour. So it's that one there. So it's your gorgeous Kylie Jenner-esque colour. Then a new one by Gerard Cosmetics. This has kind of been into the end of February and this is in the shade Rodeo Drive and it is so so beautiful. I'm not even freaking joking, this colour is just mad, I love it. Jared Cosmetics are killing it with their lipsticks at the moment. I just cannot wait till they start doing more products or whatever it is and really do come high up with their products. I love every single product of theirs, I've never had something that I hate. And I have got a coupon code for you ladies as well, which I will leave down in the description box. And you are saving 25% off your whole order. So it's Beauty Y25 and I will list it down below in the description box. Do enter that coupon code and you will get a massive discount. Products for hair. The first one is the Alnet Satin Straight 3 Day Heat Protector by L'Oreal. This has really helped my hair to get to reforming to its healthy state and it's really helped it to get nourishing and keep it straight mostly so love Elnet products and then the next one is this product this bad boy this amazing this should literally get the number one hair product in the world because it's fantastic it's the Batiste dry shampoo and I use the one in dark and deep brown love this it never leaves the casts on my hair it really does let me have my hair for about three four days and 
lets it look like it's just been washed so love this product I'll give a massive shout out to new me i've not been told to say any of this i purchased my own mini but this is the new me silhouette straightener and it is fantastic new me products i really do highly recommend um i've got a link down below so you guys can click and go ahead and check the website if you don't know what it is but just type into google new me and it'll come up and i love their products to death um this strain i've had for a while now i'd probably say about a year and it is just been going so well it makes my hair look so smooth it leaves it straight for three days so i'm literally just combing my hair through put a bit of batiste if it gets a bit dry and out the door so i have to mention this for my february favorites and then another product which is the clinique anti-blemish solutions clinic clearing gel gel action and this product is something that i've never come across before and what it is is it's if you feel a blemish on your face or if the blemish is already out what you do is you just get a tiny bit of this gel and you literally just tap it on the blemish until the gel has evaporated and what it does is it digs really deep into the root of the blemish and it stops it from coming out if it has started to come out or if it's already out then it will kind of attack it and stop it from like dingy and this has literally really helped and i've used it a fair bit and it's not even touched at the top bit yet and i'll be giving this to friends and family like advising it to them and they love it so this product is fantastic the reason i've left this product to last is this has just blown my mind out of the window i've never felt or needed to say something so much about a product before and this is the number seven makeup brush cleaner so that is what it looks like one day i was deep cleaning my brushes obviously and i finished my beauty blender cleanser and i hate using shampoo i hate using cleaners or whatever they are they just do not work for my brushes they won't deep clean them they won't fall through the bristles they'll just clean it from the surface so I really needed something that I needed like just there and then and obviously the Beauty Blender cleanser I had to order online from Beauty Bay and it wouldn't come within the next week or so so I could not wait that long so I just ran over to Boots I thought you know what let's go and have a look what they've got there and I came across this number seven makeup brush cleaner and it is fantastic I've never seen my brushes come out so clean before it really gets deep into the brushes and when they're drying it just makes them look as if i've opened it from the packet it's fantastic and i don't know what is in this but it really does you need the tiniest spritz on my spa glove by sigma that i use and it really does clean all the gunk out of it and sorry that sounds gross but it really does deep clean it so much so yeah definitely gonna repurchase this soon because it is nearly out but it is fantastic there you have my February favourite ladies, I hope you have enjoyed it, sorry it was a bit late again, do leave your February favourites down below because I would love to hear, and I shall see you ladies on my next video, don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up if you did enjoy, and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I would appreciate it so so much, enjoy the rest of your weekend, take care ladies, bye!